Hi guys, welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. And as you can see, I'm smiling because <laughs> I have another wine list box. And as you probably heard before uh, or not, uh, I'm on a diet at the moment, uh, so I don't really drink that much wine, and that makes me really sad. But you know, since I have a box today, ten box, I will ha kind of have to need to try, right? So yeah, this is my wine list box, the third one. And uh, let me have a quick look what wines we're having this month. So the white wine is... Oh my god, this is in French. Chateau de Pyral, I think. Petit Buc. Looks like this. And then we have a red one. And this is La Zebra. This is, yeah, it looks quite cool. So as usual, they send you two bottles of wine, one red and one white, uh, along with this envelope uh, with all the information you might need and also the wine card where you can uh, mark your uh, ideas for the wine. And also we have like a um, uh, discount code, like 30%. I will just put it uh, down in the description bo below. below down in the description box below uh, so if you're interested in purchasing one of these you can use this code uh, and they also give you like a little leaflet uh, with all the information you might need uh, about uh, this one this one's like the third one it contains information about steel wood um for vessels yeah that kind of information you can read about and then you get these two cards one for white wine one for red wine so as we all know, red wine uh, stains your teeth, so I always start with a white one, so you know, you don't have to see me like this. Uh, so this one is from France, uh, I guess that too, but I can read uh, French, uh, so I'll be like uh, probably butchering the pronunciation, but sorry for that. Uh, this is Chateau de Pyral, I think, 2017 Petit, I think, Fugue, but I'm not really sure. Um, the grapes are Sauvignon Gris and Sauvignon Blanc. Yes. So most of these wines that you get with the wine box are corked, so you kind of need something to open these. Uh, if you decide to order, uh, if you decide to subscribe to this uh, little uh, cute uh, subscription box, you kind of have to buy a bottle opener first like a proper one because i already destroyed several of these so something sturdy so since um i moved in uk the, uh, most of the wines i try i have this like screw cup so i don't really need a bottle opener like a corkscrew uh but yeah i kind of had to buy one <laughs> now okay so let's try the white one first Okay, I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but probably I did. I just have this tendency to mention the same things all over again. But yeah, um, this one, I mean, I don't really like the floral notes when it's too uh, empowering, uh, when it's too strong. But I can smell that pear. I can smell pear. What does it say? Peach? Maybe? Nuttiness? <laughs> I don't really smell that many flowers in here luckily. Uh, let me try this now. Hmm. It's actually quite good. Maybe because um, maybe it's because I haven't really tried any wine for quite a long time and I'll probably like anything now. Uh, but no, it actually it actually tastes quite well. Mm yeah it doesn't have this floral note when you taste it because you know what some white wines they actually taste like you're drinking a perfume or something i, I hate it uh this one is dry but it's um it is fruity but it's it's really nice mm. do you know what uh with wine list i don't think they ever gave me the white wine i didn't really like there was one of the red one wines i think the last one that wasn't really 
to um, it wasn't bad i mean i can always drink a red wine um but um i think the white wines they gave me were actually quite good so far mm. this one's really good so apparently if you like this one you can try two bordeaux wines one Semillon Lett and one Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Good advice. So uh, it says the nose has a wild floral note underpinned by a touch of pear, some peach, and a background nuttiness. On the palate, there's a real body and texture here, far more than you'd get from a straight Sauvignon Blanc. That seems quite interesting. I'm always like a little bit scared of white wines because I'm not a massive, a massive fan. But that's not because I don't like them. It's just because I don't know much about them, and I don't know if I don't think I know how to choose the right one. So that that might be the biggest problem for me. And you should pair this with rich seafood like tuna or salmon and a simple but rich new potato salad on the side. The body will stand up well here. So now the red one. So this is La Zebra Cantine Volpi 2018. Um, mm -hmm, the country Italy. Uh, grapes Barbera. And what does it say? A mixture of concentrated red and black fruit aromas all feel the right ripeness, not too jammy, not too tart. Smooth on a palate and despite how big the aromas feel, there is a real elegance here too. That sounds lovely. <laughs> and then this sort of red suits cured red meats perfectly. Sleeped with uh, salam, salami will be a simple treat. Um, sipped with salami, oh my God. Sipped with salami, that makes more sense, right? And the low tannins also mean you can carry on drinking without the food to back it up. <laughs> That's what I need at the moment. I just, I don't think uh, with my diet, I'll need some food to back it up. It's just the wine is then. Um, bad enough for me but yeah yeah low tannins that sounds a perfect uh, like a perfect snack so yeah let's try this one so now now let's try la zebra okay so now the red one i'm quite excited i love red wines oh well, look at the color that's quite deep I can I can smell um, I can definitely smell uh, dark fruit aromas, but I can also smell like meaty aromas. I think I mean I read that that it's a normal thing that it, it's okay to feel that kind of aromas here. But yeah, let me just okay it started raining. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's actually raining a lot at the moment. I don't know how to describe it in like nice words, but it's raining uh, a lot. Mm. Yeah, it's very mild. Uh, it's not tonic at all, pretty much. I mean, or very like low tonic. Uh, so it's a, it's a perfect um, drink for if you don't have any, or if you can't have any food with it. So yeah, yeah, this is really nice. I definitely prefer this one than the last one that was quite similar to like a new wine, like a Beaujolais Nouveau. Uh, this is so much better, although it's quite delicate and mild. Uh, but yeah, this is a perfect uh, wine for when you just want to enjoy your wine. Okay, so that's it. These are my two bottles of wine. I'm going to put this one, the white one, in the fridge so that it cools down a little bit. Uh, although I'm actually liking it already, so I'm quite surprised. Um, this wine is actually making me discover ni nice white wines. Um, and it kind of proves the fact that the only reason why I didn't like them was that I didn't know much about them. Or I didn't know which ones to choose. Uh, the red one is interesting. It's not my favorite red wine because I kind of prefer heavier stuff. But other than that, it's quite nice too. So uh, I think it's a perfect um, nighttime drink and I don't think you'll have much hangover after drinking this uh, because of like, you know, the tonic. Um, I mean, tonic wines usually make, a, cause a bigger hangover, I guess. 
that's my personal experience at least so yeah i'm quite happy with uh my two new bottles of wine um now i have to drink it um i mean no not both of them today so don't worry uh but yeah i'll have to yeah <laughs> i just can't let them go off right so thank you very much for watching um and i think i'm going to go now and just have some more wine thank you very much and uh see you very soon